First up, though, what about Brendan Rodgers? Uh, effectively a one-match ban, the suspended one till the end of the season, if uh, anything else happens. Yeah, Celtic took it really seriously. They went in with a lawyer, but I just feel as though we're missing the bigger picture here. The bigger picture, in my view, is the way that uh, VAR has been used. Uh, it's got, whether Brendan Rodgers is in the dugout or not, it's almost immaterial. You're hearing, um, you know, Motherwell, uh, Commander, Kibbs, Hearts, Celtic in that game and surely every club has got an issue with the way VAR has been handled the ridiculous interpretation the lack of consistency in the application of some of the laws of the game I think that's the bigger story Celtic are accepting it they're not going to complain I think if it was a two match ban immediately he would miss the game with Rangers and that could have been we heard Peter Grant saying last night on the programme there could be all sorts of conspiracy theories about why he would not be in the dugout that has cleared the way that's not going to be an issue now yeah, you, you'll yeah. never get away from conspiracy theories yeah. in Glasgow and you'll <laughs> maybe get one next week yeah. but um, no I, I thought the, the bigger story was uh, I mean the, the refereeing in that game the actual on-field refereeing you know, giving Celtic a penalty was bad enough. That was a ridiculous yeah. decision. But everything else, I thought, was okay. And it was the it was the VAR ref that uh, caught all the headlines. And it's caught all the headlines far too often. You hear it from almost every manager. And yet, everyone seems to be buying into it. And I'm just amazed that they're all putting up with it. Yes, Stuart Kettlewell in the news today, he's called for serious talks between his club, Motherwell, and match officials and other clubs after being left in the dark over two VAR calls against Aberdeen and two calls that meant, well, could have meant they lost, they did lose the game and they could have been top six, whereas they're, uh, well, they're unlikely to be there. It's tough. Jamie, you're at Air United now, so VAR is not an issue for you normally. But what do you think about it? Are you surprised the clubs don't come together to say where's the light touch that we were promised and it doesn't seem to be the case yeah I think that's the way forward the clubs have got to get together and go to the SFA and say look we're not happy with this it's costing us points on a Saturday it's costing people wins it's costing people money so something has to be done but I think that's the only way that, that things are going to change